magnetic theory of gases. In last 4-5 years, more than 6 MCQs are asked on this chapter. Half of them were based on the concepts and half of them were the numericals. So, every time when I start teaching this chapter, I always request the students to pay attention equally on the concepts as well as the formulae. Try to understand the concept of ideal gas. An ideal gas is a gas which obeys ideal gas equation that is PV is equal to RT for one mole of gas and PV is equal to NRT for n mole of gas under all conditions of temperature, pressure and volume. Thus, gas obeying this equation will be called a perfect gas or ideal gas. Molecules of ideal gas are very small. They are mere point masses. They are so rare that they cannot exert any force on each other. Ideal gas is a hypothetical concept or no such gas exists in nature. However, all practical gases like oxygen, hydrogen, etc. behave like ideal gas at low pressure and high temperature. The entire theory of gases is based on the following assumptions. The assumptions are as follows. Number 1. Small volume. A gas consists of large number of very small, tiny, elastic and lightweight particles called molecules. At NTP, one cubic centimeter volume of gas may contain 2 into 10 raised to 9 number of molecules. But actual volume occupied by the gas molecules is very less as compared to the total volume of the gas. Number 2. Random motion. The molecules of the gas are always in the state of random motion. They constantly move in all possible directions with all possible velocities. So, the gas is always in a state of molecular chaos. Number 3. Elastic spheres. The molecules are rigid and perfectly elastic spheres of very small diameter of order of 10 raised to minus 10 meter. Number 4. Collisions. The molecules of gas constantly collide with each other and with the walls of the container. Every collision is perfectly elastic. That is, both momentum as well as kinetic energy are conserved. The most important assumption is fifth one regarding the energy. The average kinetic energy of the gases is directly proportional to the absolute temperature of the gas. At constant temperature, molecules of all the gases possess same average kinetic energy. This is very important to remember. Then, path of molecules. Between two successive collisions, molecules travel along a straight line path with constant velocity. The distance covered by the molecules between the two successive collisions is called free path. The average distance covered by a molecule between two successive collisions is called mean free path. It is denoted by lambda. Hence, lambda is equal to total distance travelled upon total number of collisions. For example, if between 10 successive collisions, if a molecule travels 100 cm distance, then the mean free path lambda is 10 cm. Time of collision. The time of actual collision is much less than the time between two collisions. The collision may take place for a microsecond and 
between two successive collisions time in seconds may lapse identical molecules all the molecules of same gas are identical in all respect that is the molecules will have same physical chemical and electrical characteristics but the molecules of different gases differ in these characteristics the next most important assumption is this one ninth one force the gas molecules are so rare that they cannot exert any force on each other hence there cannot be any interaction between them and hence the gases possess no potential energy so whatever energy the gases possess is solely in kinetic form and hence name of the chapter or the title of the chapter is kinetic theory of gases number 10 though the gas molecules are in random motion the total number of gas molecules per unit volume of the gas remains same hence even though the molecules are moving randomly they cannot be collected at one end or in one part of the container 